Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing have signed top heavyweight prospect Philip Hergovic to a co-promotional deal with Team Sauerland. Team Sauerland signed Hergovic to a long-time promotional deal about a year and a half ago or so. That's uh, reportedly a five-year deal. But Hergovic joining on with Matchroom on this co-promotional arrangement it is very significant. I think some people won't realize actually how significant this is because this guy is uh, one of the best prospects in all of heavyweight boxing, in all of boxing, and in the next 18 months to two years, he will get a title shot, no doubt. This guy is on the way up. He is my top heavyweight prospect right now. And I think some people won't realize the significance of the signing until maybe 12 to 18 months down the road. But this is a huge move, not only for Philip Hergovic and his career, but for matchroom boxing, because their stocks at heavyweight, particularly in the United States, they're a bit thin. They've got Jarrell Miller fighting on DAZN, and that's about it. They've also got Nikosi Solomon, but he lost his first fight. Clearly, he needs some seasoning before he's going to do anything in the heavyweight division. So I'll get to the announcement proper and then to some more thoughts, because this is a big time move for Matchroom to get a guy like Hergovic signing on, because this guy is going to be one of the faces of the division in a couple of years. So the uh, press release, uh, matchroomboxing.com. Uh, welcome to the team, Philip Hergovic. Here is the promotional poster. Uh, so the uh, press release reads, Philip Hergovic has signed a co-promotional deal with Matchroom Boxing in Team Sauerland, with his future fights to be screened exclusively live on Sky Sports in the UK and DAZN in the US. The Rio 2016 Olympic bronze medalist has made a blistering start to his professional career, racing to seven wins from seven fights, with five of those wins coming by knockout, since making his pro debut in September 2017. Ranked in the top 10 in the world with the WBA. Actually, I'll just jump in here for a second. He's actually ranked in the top 15 of three of the four sanctioning bodies. And he's just outside the top 15 in the WBC. So even despite him only having the seven fights and he's got the win over Amir Mansour and also more recently Kevin Johnson, he's managed to work his way into three of the four sanctioning bodies. So it continues, the 26-year-old Croatian star already finds himself being positioned for a world title fight, having been matched aggressively from the very start of his career. He sent shockwaves through the heavyweight division with a sensational third-round knockout win over Amir Mansour to claim the WBC international belt in his hometown. Zagreb, and has also notable wins against former world title challenger Kevin Johnson and Brett Tom Little. As Hergovic continues to climb the world rankings and move closer to an inevitable world title shot, the highly touted prospect says he is delighted to be teaming up with Eddie Hearn's matchroom boxing alongside his current promoter Team Sauerland. I'm very happy and honoured that my promoter Team Sauerland will be working with Matchroom Boxing, DAZN and Sky Sports to deliver me big fights as I continue my world title quest, said Hergovic. This will be great for my career and proves I am one of the best prospects in the business. My goal is to become a world champion and to hold all the belts in the heavyweight division. I know to be the best, I will have to beat the best. And as I have proven so far in my professional career, I'm willing to fight any heavyweight out there. I look forward to being involved in huge fights all around the world and showing boxing fans what Filip Hergovic can do. And then we have a quote here from Eddie Hearn. I'm excited to team up with Team Sauerland to work on an exceptional young heavyweight in Philip Hergovic. Everyone in the sport knows what a threat this man is, and he is already willing to jump in big fights at such an early stage in his career. Fans will get to watch Philip all over the world competing in all major fight cities. Don't blink. And then we have uh, Nissa Sauerland here quoted, uh, Heavyweight boxing is currently enjoying a huge resurgence and we believe that Philip Hergovic is the most exciting up-and-coming fighter in the division. We're delighted to be working with Eddie Hearn and Sky Sports, with whom we have always enjoyed an excellent relationship with, and DAZN who are doing great things for boxing and plotting a route uh, forward that will take Philip to the top of the heavyweight pile. So that is the announcement. Uh, that's on matchroomboxing.com. So for me, a very significant announcement because Philip Hergovic is going to be one of the faces of the division in the next couple of years. He may only be 7-0 at the moment, but what we've seen so far from him is very encouraging. 
and if you haven't already seen him you don't know much about Filip Hergovic please check out my uh, prospect video the rise of Filip Hergovic which uh, tracks his sort of progress from amateur to pro um, including highlights from his uh, first seven you know very brief highlights of his uh, first seven fights and that sort of stuff it's a very detailed account of where he's come from what he did in the amateurs the bronze in Rio and then you know the start of his professional career I will have that up on screen uh, to click to at the end of this video so that will give you a good backstory on who this guy is if you haven't already checked it out and you don't know too much about him he sparred with David Hay and back in 2013 and he gave Hay a cut over his left eyebrow and that's what cancelled the Tyson Fury fight he uh, also helped prepare Vladimir Klitschko for the Anthony Joshua fight he helped prepare Kubrat Pulev for the Vladimir Klitschko fight back in 2014 so this guy has been around on the scene for some time you know that was back in his amateur days he was building towards Rio where he got a bronze many expected he would win the gold in Rio but he came up a bit short there but he's made a cracking start to his professional career so far and I had wondered what was going to happen next with Filip Hergovic because uh, Croatian media as I was doing research for that video uh, the rise of which is the third uh, video in that series also have done Joe Joyce and uh, Tony Yoka but actually the reason I did um, Joyce and Hergovic so early in that series is because those two probably aren't going to be prospects for much longer Filip Hergovic is already ranked across the three of the four sanctioning bodies and just outside the top 15 of the WBC as I've already mentioned he is going to be stepping up into some decent fights in 2019 and 2020 to position himself closer to a title shot within 18 months or so he is going to be in a position where he's well known well regarded and will be pressing for a title shot so he is a guy that is on the rise and Croatian media had said that uh, his next fight was likely to be in the United States uh, either in April or May and it was going to be if Filip Hergovic had even said this it was going to be a step up from his previous opponents Amir Mansour and Kevin Johnson so if that is the case it's uh, he's clearly going to be going after someone who's top 50. There was some talk that he was going to be facing Johan Duopa back in December. That fight never happened, but that would have been a good sort of yardstick. Duopa, a top 50-ish guy, you know, he's clearly on the side and has been for some time. We saw against Jarrell Miller, jo Johan Duopa only had six rounds in him. But Filip Hergovic says he's ready for these big tests, and even in some of what he's been saying to Croatian media, he feels he's ready for the likes of Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Anthony Joshua you know and some of that sort of stuff you can sort of say it's uh you know him bigging himself up trying to get profile in that but not too far away he will be in some of these big fights if he is continuing on his winning ways and what he's been doing he's been looking relatively impressive and of all the prospects that are running around right now and you can think of a number of top prospects you've got FIA Jagba, Daniel Dubois, Philip Hergovic, Joe Joyce, uh, Tony Yoka there's a whole bundle of them I did a top 10 prospects um, just the other week and those are my top 10 prospects for 2019 I have Hergovic at the top of the heap in terms of who I rate the highest out of the lot so I think he's going to go very far in the heavyweight division so joining on here in this co-promotional arrangement it's a very good move strategically for Filip Hergovic because it, with, with Team Sauerland he was I think getting to that point where it was getting a bit harder to get, secure some of the next level of opponents that he needed to face without having to overpay ridiculously because they were sort of positioning him in Europe um, he had his last couple of fights in Croatia but if he can get on these DAZN cards and also cards in the United Kingdom uh, against decent opponents it's going to build his profile in a stock considerably in probably a shorter time if he had just stayed with Sauerland campaigning in Europe and with uh, DAZN USA Effectively, they only have Jarrell Miller. Jarrell Miller is going to be fighting uh, in June against Anthony Joshua. And should Joshua beat him, you've got Jarrell Miller, a beaten heavyweight, who you know whose stock would be down some, even in a loss, even if he put on a good display. They need to be having some other guys coming through 
for people to be looking at and to build these next guys to fight guys at the top of the division like Anthony Joshua. And Philip Hergovich is primed to be one of the next contenders in the next couple of years who could face um, uh, the likes of Anthony Joshua if he still has a title. This guy is, you know, a contender in waiting and a titleist in waiting. I have no doubt he will be fighting for a title in the next couple of years. So from a strategic standpoint, very good for him and his career. But DAZN in the United States needs more heavyweights like this coming through. Uh, Matchroom recently signed that uh, co-promotional deal with K2 for Alexander Usyk. And they need guys like Usyk and Hergovic and a few others fighting in the United States to just, you know, build a bit of profile. The heavyweights, that is the glamour division. I mean, arguably, welterweight too is the glamour division right now. But the heavyweight scene has been popping lately. And Hergovic is one of the guys that is coming through that is going to add some more excitement and energy entertainment to this division obviously with Alexander Usyk coming up you've got Joe Joyce starting to make waves Tony Yoka there's a number of other names FIA Jagba he's a big threat Daniel Dubois some top guys coming through and DAZN USA was looking a bit thin for t- some talent especially at heavyweight and if you've got Miller who's most people would say he's going to lose in June against Anthony Joshua and if you only had him and he's a beaten guy that needs to build himself back up you know you've effectively your stocks are you know very thin at heavyweight so having Usyk and Hergovic coming into you know the matchroom stable fighting on DAZN potentially fighting in the United Kingdom on different cards. This is going to boost their stocks considerably. It's a win-win for everyone involved here. So I really like this signing for Filip Hergovic. It's good for DAZN, it's good for Sky, it's good for Matchroom, and obviously good for Team Sauerland too. They get access to a bit more infrastructure and options for Filip Hergovic. And they can pit him against some of the guys that are in the broader Matchroom and associated stables. So I really like this and expect to see Filip Hergovic in some decent fights very soon and he is expected to be out again soon in 2019 in the United States and that's what Croatian media has been reporting recently. Anyway, what do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.